Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm um, back out here at Northwest uh, River State Park. Try to catch some more rainbow trout. Uh, probably just going to do a catch and release today. Uh, we got a good bit in the freezer. Uh, basically, just going to be using the same bait. Going to be using Power Bait, Berkeley, uh, Gulp, uh, Garlic Scented. I might try out a few spinners, but I don't have a lot of patience with spinners. I get bored pretty easy with them. Um, Alright, we'll see what we can do today. Hey right, guys, so the first thing I want to use is this little spoon thing here. Um, I actually found it out here a couple weeks ago, so I'm going to try it out and see if I can get anything on it. Um, it's about, I don't know, maybe an inch long or so. So, I don't know, we'll see what it does. Alright guys, this is the second lure I'm going to try out. It's just a, uh, a small rooster tail, silver, um, white. It's a uh, eighth ounce. So, I don't know, we'll see what it does. Alright guys, so I switched it up. Uh, quitting the spinners. These are two power baits I'm going to be using. Um, you can see, I actually got them both together. Put the green on top and the, the uh, lighter one down on the bottom. They're both garlic scented. And then, like I said, I like the gulp. The gulp's got, um, as you can see right there, 55% more scent. And if you actually smell like a gulp and a power bait, like for instance, this is just a regular power bait, the gulp is way more scented. Um, I got my 18 inch leader here and it's connected to a swivel. Basically it's just going to keep it, um, it'll keep this sunk down to the bottom. This is going to be uh, roughly about 18 inches off the bottom. So we'll see. Alright guys, so I've been here like three hours. I hadn't caught a fish yet. So I take off my camera. I'm like, I'll give it 10 more minutes and see what happens. Boom. As soon as I take off my camera, turn it off, I get a, a little rainbow, probably like seven or eight inches. I throw it back. I'm like, all right, I'm not going to get another bite. So don't put my camera back on. Throw my line back out there. Sure enough, the biggest brook trout I've ever caught. Um, I get him in and I got him. I'm going to show him to you right now. He's on the stringer. Alright, as you can see, it's a pretty big fish um, for a brook trout. <clears throat> uh, I don't know, my wife caught one out of here a couple weeks ago. It weighed almost 4 pounds, it was 3.8. So whenever I get this one home, I'll weigh it up, uh, take a picture and add that to the video and with a measurement on it as well. So I'm going to keep the camera on now and see if I can't catch a few more before I leave. i got about 45 minutes left. So we've got a pretty brown trout here.
All right, guys, this is the brook trout I caught earlier. I uh, set it away and everything whenever I got home. So that's what we're going to do. See the scale is zeroed out. So almost 3.3. And then we'll get a light on it real quick. No, we won't because I don't have the measuring tape. So I'll just take a picture of it and then take the picture of it with the tape on it. But so far, this is my biggest brook trout I've ever caught, so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, guys, so I'm going to measure it real quick. Go ahead and take a little quick video of that. So it looks like it's right at 20 and a half inches. So definitely definitely by far the biggest one I've ever caught. Alright guys, thanks.